I'm Scott Huffmaster, North America sales leader for Healthy Spaces with Train. Last year, Train created WellSphere, a human and holistic approach to help you improve your building's indoor environmental quality. Today, I'd like to talk about what's now, what's new, and what's next. When we talk about what's now, the main focus has been on indoor air quality. CDC and ASHRAE have given us recommendations on how we can improve our IAQ. These core recommendations include ventilation, filtration, and ultraviolet germicidal irradiation. That said, there is no one size fits all solution. Every building is unique. When deciding on a technology, Trade encourages our customers to follow guidance from the CDC and ASHRAE and seek third party tested results. Train invests heavily in our third party testing to ensure we base our recommendations on science. So what's new to the market? First, I'd like to highlight Synexis, an offering that utilizes dry hydrogen peroxide, otherwise known as DHP. Now, what sets this technology apart? Synexis technology was third party tested and it's been demonstrated to show efficacy on both in air and on surface pathogens. This patented technology is able to create dry hydrogen peroxide without generating harmful byproducts like ozone. And last but certainly not least, Synexis offers a portable in-room solution. This can be sometimes as easy as just plugging the device into the wall. Another area of innovation I'd like to highlight is air quality monitoring. Beyond temperature, humidity, and CO2, these devices can measure things like VOCs, fine particulates, and other information. That data can then be shared with our occupants through things like wall-mounted units or dashboards, allowing a way to improve our occupant confidence. Additionally, these systems can be integrated into our building automation, thus allowing us a way to balance air quality and energy efficiency. So what's next? The world is changing. How we use our buildings is changing. Part-time schedules, more spaces for collaboration, all these things driving innovation. Imagine smart rooms with monitoring of the indoor environment, including our lighting and acoustics, in addition to air quality, thus allowing us to tailor outcomes to the use of the space. Technology is always evolving to allow new ways to improve and be better, better for people, better for buildings and better for the world. That is what's now, what's new and what's next.